Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Thank you for joining me today here on Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and clicking on this video. We of course are going to take a home tour, but first I wanted to show you where your water closet is. That's back here over by your back door. Today I'm out in Tucson, Arizona visiting Homes Direct and this home right here is known as the HD 2860A built by Durango Homes of Cathco. And so far what I like about this home is of course those three nice windows on the side. Those two big windows up front, the siding which goes both ways, and a nice color scheme. Um, I also like those columns there. It's a nice design accent. Though know, this home is a three bed, two bath, and it sits at 1,600 square feet. And the price for this is $162,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? All right, everyone, let's check this home out. As you're walking in, you can see it is not an open floor plan, which is nice because some of the home surprises are behind those nice archways. The uh, height of the ceiling here in this home is nine feet, which just helps. I mean, the room is big enough, but it just makes it even bigger. And while you're here, hit that like button. Let me know I'm doing an okay job. And, and also that subscribe button. If you click on that and the notification bell, you will always be alerted to when a new home tour is posted and you'll be able to catch up to where's will. The size of this living room, like I was saying, was 17 feet, one inch by 12 feet, eight inches. Good amount of living space. And walking into this kitchen, I'm liking it. The cabinetry is a darker color, but it, it blends well with the, uh, with the black appliance package and the entire color scheme of, of the kitchen. It, it has a really big island, but it's also multifunctional because it has seating area over there and it's kind of like a tri-level. And spinning around, I said it's black packaged, nice refrigerator. And the backsplash, the color blends well with the countertop. I like that. I like that. Big window above the sink. That is nice. And inside the, 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 the cupboard here, we have three adjustable shelves and good construction. You know, and if you wanna know some features about the home um, and what you can change about it and everything else, there's a, a link in the description below. Click on that. That'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see some more photos, some videos, 3D tours, and most importantly, get pricing directly from a retailer near you. So click on that and learn all about it. And now in this kitchen, now it, already you have a good amount of you know storage space, but you also have this nice size pantry here, wooden shelves, cornered. It's nice. Three, four shelves, plenty of storage space, plenty. So that's even an added bonus. I like that. And now you see the other side of the island. There is seating there. So like I was saying, kind of multifunctional. Actually, excuse me. If I said tri-level, I meant dual level earlier. And now we're gonna check out the utility room. Walking in, you can see plenty of room for your washer dryer and more storage. Plenty of storage. Nice little countertop to fold the clothes. But the one thing that I don't see in this uh, utility room is a wash sink. So for some people, that might be a deal breaker. And spinning around that is a nice color cabinet now it, it catches the light pretty good and behind this door you know you have some more cabinets right above where the air conditioning unit is at first when, when i walked in the house i thought that was the electrical panel but nope there it is <laughs> walking through the kitchen um it's a nice kitchen and then you have this long long galleyway all the way down and we are arriving into the dining room in that galleyway. And this is a dining room that is 10 feet, five inches by 12 feet, eight inches, which is a pretty good, sp pretty good space. Two big windows there, again, letting that natural light in. That's, that's nice. Can lighting everywhere. And as we spin around another archway, 
Um, that seems to be a nice motif within the home. I mean, that they just didn't stop in like one or two spots. Um, and now we are in the family room, and the family room is pretty much the exact same size as the living room: seventeen feet one inch by twelve feet eight inches. Pretty nice. Now the、uh, registers are in the floor, so that is where your、um, air conditioning and heating is coming from. And as we walk in the first guest room, this size is eleven feet by ten feet five inches.、Uh, good amount of space. You can fit pretty much any size bed. Nice big window right there. And as we spin around, take a look at the room. Good amount of space. This one is set up with a, a twin and a, a desk, and a good amount of space within your closet. You see, you have a wooden shelf and a wooden coat rod, which is nice. And then here is your、uh, a guest bath. You have a single vanity,、um, same color scheme as the kitchen for your. Uh, cabinetry and your backsplash counter, and we spin over here. There's that transom window, and you spin. We have the、uh, the standard shower tub combo, thirty by sixty, and the standard toilet. Pretty nice. One thing I do like about、uh, Drango Capco is a lot of their corners are rounded, which is. I just like that as a design feature, to be honest,、um, and sometimes safer for for kids because, yeah, corners scare me as a parent.、Um, more space right there in the hallway for whatever you need, probably linen and so forth. And then as we're walking into the、uh, other guest room, the second guest room is the exact same size as the other one, eleven feet by ten feet five inches. Another big window. Tall, tall vaulted ceilings make this home feel even bigger. See, this one actually though, this room has a bigger closet than the other one, so this one has that going for it at least. I'm loving the archways in the homes. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Spinning back through the family room. I mean, this home is is pretty decently sized. I like the layout. I like the feel of it.、Um, I do like the flow of it.、Um, it makes it feel more residential and a little less manufactured,、uh, but it has just some nice features to it.、Um, and we'll see some more as we walk into the primary room.、Uh, the primary is 14 feet one inch by 12 feet eight inches. So another room with a Good amount of space and really a lot of natural light. You have three windows in here. Those that's where two of those side windows are,、um, and、uh, two of those big windows in front. Really nice. Plenty of、um, electrical outlets throughout the home is one thing I did notice. And、um, in the primary here again,、uh, more than ample space. I I. I Don't think I personally would need any more than that. Okay, that is bright. I like that. Now let us check out the primary bath. Walking in here, you see the dual vanities, same color scheme all throughout the house for your cabinetry. Here, this one comes with a、um, standard fiberglass shower. Which、um, I think this is about a 40-inch shower here,、um, and we have some、uh, built-in、um, cubbies right there, right next to it, right next to your、um, commode, and some more storage. The only thing that the、uh, that the primary bath doesn't have going for it is a soaker tub or a tub of any manner. But that's the question: Is that a deal breaker for a lot of people?、Um, what are your opinions on that? Let me know in the comments below. So yeah, there we are, everybody. This is the 2860 built by Dur Durango Homes of Cavco、um, here at Homes Direct. Three bed, two bath, 1,600 square feet. The asking price for this starts at about $162,000. Thank you for joining me, everyone, on another great home tour. 
I hope to see you again wherever that next one will be. And until then, remember to live smarter, choose manufactured, and have a wonderful day. Travel easy.